Hey guys, welcome back to Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. There's a person entering that town that I ain't allowed in. We're in the Desert Gerudo Vote. What's it called? It is the Desert Vote Headband and you know the rest. I'm gonna ride a sand seal if I could get one. No. I didn't hear anything. Yeah, alright, come with me. You're taking me places that I need to go to. Excuse me, pardon me. Alright, we're headed over there. Also, I found it convenient that it's summer and I'm doing three shrine quests that involve the desert heat or anything, really. So, I was planning to do something like that, but I accidentally did it this week. Anyways, hello. What do you want? The great Tali doesn't have time to chat with just anyone. You see, now that Divine Beast is gone, we can finally use the race course. Tali is busy focusing her energy for the San Seal race. Oh. Actually, did you want to try to beat Tali's record? I'll warn you, they don't call her Dame of the Dunes for nothing, and I just got an email. Uh, a San Seal race? Oh. You've never heard of Hyrule's pastime, the world famous San Seal race? Sing? I thought everyone knew about it. Isn't that shocking, Tali? You surf with a sand seal and race to the finish line while also going through the arches. That's sand seal racing. And if you get off your shield or leave the course bound, you're disqualified. Tally's record is 1 minute 30 seconds. If you can beat that record, that, tr that trophy is yours. This is the grand trophy that's been passed down by 10,000 years of sand seal racing champions. Tally here is the current champion. We'll try to challenging her record. Of course. I forgot to mention, since you're racing against the champ's record, it'll be 50 rupees per race. I got 9,000, so, sure. Alright, payday. Enough talk, let's begin. Uh, ooh, I got a red one. The trained ones, the faster ones. A challenger has appeared to take on the Scarudo San Seal race. Apparently one who does not mind risking life and limb. But will our current record fall? The one set by our undefeated champion? The incompar incomparable beast of the desert. The sand seal is ready to ride. Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 1 minute 30 seconds? While still passing under new every... I mean... <gasps> Can our new contestant reach the goal in less than 1 minute 30 seconds while still passing under every arch? The suspense is killing me. I'm going to start the countdown. <laughs> Go, here we go. I thought I was dying of each stroke for a sec, but it wasn't. It was something else. I also have a minute and 30 seconds. That's a little bit longer than I thought. I thought it was gonna be a minute. Not that, but whatever. I guess I have more room for error, but then again, it is the champion, so maybe I shouldn't take this very lightly. I feel like I already messed up. No, I didn't. Kind of an obvious path. We're just passing through the giant bones that no one's questioning how they got here. Except me, because I did a video about some one of them. We're going in sandstorm territory. Also, I have no idea where we're going. Oh, there's the next one. Alright, we got a few more seconds. We got one, we got 30 seconds left. Ah, oh, there it is. I'm about to set a world record. And, all right. What? Whoa, whoa, you heard the rules, right? Your run is over. What did I do? Did I miss one? Did I miss one? Is that what happened? You'll have to pass through all seven arches on the course or you'll be disqualified. Don't forget. Come show us your funky seal technique again sometime. Okay, I'll make sure I look for 70. Alright, hold up. I'm actually gonna stand up for this so I can see better. So, 
I might sound far away. Here on it's a straight path, so we're good. We win. But the question is, will we make it there in less than 20 seconds? We're about to find out. So I see what I missed. I was supposed to turn right on one of those turns. And we made it 1 minute 16 seconds and 89 milliseconds. New record! Huh? 1 minute 16 seconds is 8.89? It's a new record. Tally, time to give up your champion. Are you gonna speak now? Oh. Perfect. I believe this belongs to you. This trophy is something special, you know. Our champions have passed down a legend about it for 10,000 years. The legend goes. When the holy jewel is offered onto the pedestal, the chosen one will be granted a new power. But that power has never been granted to anyone. Not even to me, obviously. And yet, I sense a power em emanating from you, the likes of which I have never felt in anyone else. You should give it a shot. <laughs> and so, a new champion is born! Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm blushing, apparently. Thank you. Don't mind that I don't speak. I don't talk. Alright, let's try this. Alright, here we go. Am I the chosen one? The answer is yes. I am the chosen one. Time to get this shrine, s shrine spirit orb. I gotta make that plural because then it, it would. All right, hold up. Wait, I just want to talk to you. Hey, look, there's a shrine. Hey, 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 hey! Don't give me that look like nothing of the ordinary has happened. Is that a shrine? I didn't think it actually happened, but well, if it takes someone like you, destined for greatness, to beat me, then it really is kind of an honor. Hang on now, Tally. Don't act like this isn't a this isn't a big deal. Just watching knock the breath right out of me. I'm sure I lost three years off my life from the stress too. Just three years? Huh? What are you trying to say? Oh she just called her old. Well that may have taken three years of, off my life. But now I've got a new goal. Training Tally to defeat the new champ. I won't rest until Tally has pulled off her big comeback and reclaimed the title of racing champ. Now, now then, enough chit chat. If you want to ride, you ought to pay 100 rupees. No discount, even for champ. Uh, hang on a sec. What are you scared? Well, let me know when you're willing to show off that great writing. I can wait. Well, actually, I'm just gonna wait till Tally reclaims the title and then I'll challenge again. But until then, I'm gonna go on Rakwa Zunzo Shrine. So, yeah, you guys have fun with training. I'm gonna be in here. Uh, trying to get whatever's in here, aka a spirit orb, but you guys don't know that. You're not new to this. I mean, you are new to this, but you won't even go in here. You know why? Because the elevator only works for heroes. And it's a blessing. Okay, good. That makes this video a lot easier <laughs> to edit. 
radiant shield, but I can't pick it up, so that means I'm gonna have to leave a waypoint out here telling me there's a shield to be picked up. Anyways, hello, sir. I'd like to grab that spirit orb from you. It'd be great if you could give it to me. Alright. By the way, guys, did you know there's all over 200 videos of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Not the series, like entirety every breath of the wild video i've made there are now 200 if you check the playlist you'll see anyways i spent 100 rupees trying that and now i'm back to 8000 when i just got 9000 it's over and i yeah i knew someone was going to make that reference if i didn't i feel like but i did it so there you go i already did it you don't have to do it well where'd my sand seal go it doesn't matter. If I took off whatever I'm wearing, would I have heat stroke? Yes, I would. Alright. I also uh, buffed up their armor resistance, so yeah, that's another thing. I feel like next week we should try to get um, the last great fairy fountain and two more shrine quests, and there's hydro melons here. But yeah. Also, maybe a side quest. If we'll replace. Well, my feet actually go in the sand. They ate my feet, guys. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to watch my other Breath of the Wild videos.